my dear students welcome to bosco campus vision this is seema dudley welcome to my another video on operating system in this video we will discuss about deadlock detection in the previous video we were discussing about the deadlock detection in system with single instance for each resource type and in this video we will discuss about the deadlock detection in a system with several instance for a resource type we were using a wait for algorithm to detect the deadlock in systems uh, with single instance for each resource type but it is not applicable for resource allocation system with multiple instance of each resource type so for uh, systems with multiple instance of each resource type we'll be using uh, an algorithm which is similar to banger's algorithm like in the banger's algorithm we need uh, some data structures like available allocation and request and uh, we know uh, about available data structure that means it will be containing the number of available resource of each type that is oro process inum aadime allocate edadine shesham balance ulla resources ne indicate edunnadana available data structure and next is the allocation allocation means it is an n into m matrix where n is the number of processes and m is the number of resources and the allocation data structure means it will be indicating the number of resources of each type currently allocated to each process oro process inum allocate cheyidittulla resources ne aanu allocation data structure la indicate kiya and in the request data structure it is also an n into m matrix and it uh, indicates the current request of each process oro process num edike resources aanu avashyamayi thollathu that is edike aanu request cheyidirikkunnadinne aanu request data structure la indicate kiya and if request ij is equal to k then it indicates that the pi is requesting k more instances of resource type rj we can go algorithm check here uh, before going to the algorithm uh, some simple terms about this algorithm is compare this algorithm with banger's algorithm and also this uh, algorithm is very simple it simply investigates for every possible allocation sequence for the process that remain to be completed or a process um complete eenadin anusarichu aa oru cycle work cheyidukonde irikkum okay that is like banger's algorithm and this algorithm requires an order of m into n raised to 2 operations to detect whether the system is in a deadlock state or not now we can check the algorithm to detect the deadlock state okay the there are four steps first step indicates that there are two vectors work and finish and work uh, indicates the length m and finish indicates the length n and that we have to initialize work to available available means the number of resources that are freely available after allocating to each process okay apo namla nerthe al bangers algorithm work cheyidirunno adile namukku ariyam available endana nalladhu and for i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 we have to check allocation i is equal to 0 and if this condition is true we can assume that finish of i is equal to false that means that process is not yet executed okay 
ഇനി ഈ കണ്ടീഷൻ ഫോൾസ് ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഫിനിഷ് ഐ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ട്രൂ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദ പ്രോസസ് ഹാസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഗോ ടു സെക്കൻഡ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ആൻ ഇൻഡെക്സ് ഐ ദാറ്റ് ഹാവിങ് ടു കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഫിനിഷ് ഓഫ് ഐ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫോൾസ് ആൻഡ് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ആയി ലെസ് ദാൻ വർക്കു ആയിരിക്കണം ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള കണ്ടീഷൻ എക്സിസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വിൽ ബി എക്സിക്യൂട്ടിംഗ് ദ സ്റ്റെപ് ത്രീ അതർവൈസ് വിൽ ബി ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഫോർ ഇനി ഫിനിഷ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫോൾസ് അല്ല ആൻഡ് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ആയി ഐ ലെസ് ദാൻ വർക്കും അല്ല എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ കൺട്രോൾ വിൽ ബി പാസ് ടു സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ദ സിസ്റ്റം ഇസ് ഇൻ ഡെഡ് ലോക്ക് സ്റ്റേ ഓക്കെ ഇനി ഈ കണ്ടീഷൻ ട്രൂ ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വിൽ ബി going to step 3 that is work is equal to work plus allocation i and we have to change finish i is equal to 2 true to indicate that the process has completed its ex execution after that the control will be passed to step 2 that is we have to work until process n minus 1 Okay. This is the working of algorithm. So, we have to check the example. Here we have a table that is uh, to represent the system with process 5 to represent the system with process 5 process starting from P0 to P4 and there are three resources A, B and C and uh, the resource A will be having instance of seven instance and b will be having an instance of 2 and c will be having an instance of 6 okay so itre mana namku available aitulla information that is there are uh, five processes in a system and three resources with different instances and we have two data structure three data structures allocation request and available and we can apply the algorithm into this table that is first uh, we have to initialize the work with available so namla available and varena data structure ne initialize edu but available and varena the all resources are zero ana and also we have to initialize the finish of i for all process as false initialize edadile shesham second step lot namla povana that is we have to check for the condition finish of i is equal to false and request i less than or equal to work so namaku first condition eduka that is for process zero so namla check cheyira nokkuvana adinde first condition finish of i false ano na that condition is true and we have to check whether the request is less than or equal to work uh, process 1 in the request nu arayunnathu 0 0 0 and available is also 0 0 0 so both the conditions are true so the control will be passed to the next step that is work is equal to work plus allocation i so allocate edittulla uh, resources nammada work lot add cheyum that means 0 0 0 0 1 0 appo work ennu parayna uh, vector nadu ipo available aitulla information ennu parayunnathu 0 1 0 and the finish will be changed to true comma false comma false comma false comma false that is our process execute cheyidu kaniyala finish nagathu same process inde status namaku true aayittu change cheyanam that indicates that that the process has completed its task okay ദെൻ നമുക്ക് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരു പ്രോസസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്തു ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് ടിൽ എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ 
So next number i is equal to one no kuana. I is equal to one at kuana no negla. We can check whether uh, the alloc uh, first we have to check whether the finish is equal to false. Finish a false anana and we have to check whether the request is less than the available Ipoh, request on or another 202 ana available it is 010 apo randa condition sorry e condition false ana so p1 have to enter into wait state apo p1 nanu parayunnathu wait state loader povana next we will be going to p2 p2 select edu p2 inde finish value check edu finish value is false and we have to check whether the request is less than available request is 0 0 0 and work lolla information annu parayunnathu 0 1 0 so the condition is true so adutha process lotu povana that is work is equal to 0 1 0 plus p2 in the allocation that is 3 0 3 this 3 0 3 will be added to 0 1 0 and ipo initial finally work in agathavar in information on the another 3 1 3 and finish in agatha p2 in the value uh, status true and update yana for namukka per under process a complete either i know p0 and p2 okay for idana number uh algorithm working and or another algorithm then working next again we will be selecting the p1 okay p1 select you do p1 select either the initiation we will be checking the finish status and the finish status is false and the request for p1 is 202 and available is 313 that condition is true so the next step is work is equal to 313 plus 200 p1 in the allocation on or another 200 for the adium above work lola available resources in the information on or another 513 and we have to change the status of p1 to true okay then again i is equal to 3 for i is equal to 3 in the rainbow we have to check the finish status finish status false anna and we have to check whether the request is less than work request is 100 it is less than 513 so the condition is true so the next step is to add the allocation to work that is 513 plus 211 and it will become 724 and we have to change the status to true that is the status of p3 to true and next we will be selecting the i is equal to 4 that is the fourth process <coughs> then we have to check the finish status it is false and the request for p4 is 002 and it is less than 724 and uh, the condition both the conditions are true so the next step is we have to add the allocation uh, data uh, data structure to the work so 724 plus 002 it will become 726 and we have to change the status of finish to true so this uh, example 
is uh, not in a deadlock state. Then the process LM complete you do. So this not, uh, set of process is not in a deadlock state. So in the algorithm that is working and or another day, for example, on every kind then come on like on a mutual. So an assignment question connected with this topic is explain the deadlock detection algorithm applicable to a resource allocation system with multiple instance of each resource type.